What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Two-handed beast here. Today we're going to talk about shoe maintenance and what you can do to keep your shoes performing like new. Now if you like this video or any of my videos, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and hammer that no notification bell so you can stay up to date to all my latest videos. All right. I have a pair of the Hammer Carbon Fiber Design Shoes here and we're going to talk about how to maintain the felt and stuff on these shoes. Now if you like mine, if you like have like the ones I have, I got the interchangeable felt so I can change, you know, my pads and my soles to get more slide or less slide. Or like the pad I have on now is kind of like in between. Um, what are you going to do if you don't have these? Which not everybody has the interchangeable soles. And the sliding pads, which is fine. You, what you're going to need is a shoe brush. Alright. And here's a little bit of a tip. Alright, and sole. So if you'd like to not slide as much. Like you don't need a lot of slide. You can take the shoe brush and go from the heel to the toe and work down fibers up. That will, with the fibers going forward like that, that will give you a lot less slide. But if you need a little bit more slide, you can take your brush and go from toe to heel. That will move the fibers in the other direction and help you get a little bit more slide. But if you're looking for something, yeah, let's say in between, where you want a little bit of slide, but you don't want a lot of slide, you don't want to stick. So you can always take your brush and go left to right with it. And that'll give you a little bit of slide, but it won't give you a lot of slide or no slide. It'll give you that little bit in between, which will work for a lot of people. So that's the tip on how to get your felt, you know, redone. Because after time, your felt's going to lay over and it's going to change how your shoes perform. So you're going to need that brush and that to loosen up the fibers again on your shoes. And also a big thing to have, especially in like the winter leagues and stuff, you know, or if it's raining out people walking in and out, you know, wet shoes or whatever, you're definitely going to want to need a shoe cover to put over your shoe to make sure that you keep this nice and dry and clean. Because let me tell you from experience, uh, when you get any moisture on this pad, it will stop you and you will fall. That I have learned from experience. So, But all in all, like I said, if you don't have the interchangeable soles and stuff, this is what you can do to bring your felt back to life and what you can also use to protect it so it don't get damp or dirty. Thank you guys for joining me today and I'll see you on the next one.